हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू योर न्यू वीडियो टुडे वील लर्न हाउ टू सेंड ईमेल्स फ्रॉम योर रिएक्ट जेस और जावास्क्रिप्ट एप्लीकेशन वी बेसिकली सेंड ईमेल्स फ्रॉम आर कॉन्टैक्ट अस फॉर्म्स और गेट इन टच फॉर्म सो दिस इज माय वेबसाइट बगी कोडर डॉट एन आई एल जस्ट रन इट्स लोकल वर्जन एंड आई हैव क्रिएटेड अ राउट स्लैश कॉन्टैक्ट सो हेयर वील टेस्ट दैट ई मेल सेंडिंग फंक्शनैलिटी let me quickly switch to our code so here let's cre quickly create a form with some input fields let's say one text with name name and value initially let's give it empty one let's make another text box with email type and name as well email so let's save it in a state let's name it form state we'll use u state hook and initial state will be an empty object now let's create a change handler for input which will receive an event and will set our form state with initial form state will spread the initial form state or the saved form state along with the new key even dot target dot name will be my key and even dot target dot value will be the value so this will create a state object and i'll add on change handler here change handler on both my inputs change handler let's create a submit button as well type equals to submit value equals to submit let's make it send email okay let's save it and see how our form look like okay so fields are there but it's not visible let's give it a style uh not style actually i have used tailwind css so i can simply add class name here and css will be applied by default if i go now i can see a little border i'll border red not red i'll make it border blue 300 now it's visible okay make it 900 i'll copy the same class above and to this form i'll add a class name flex flex column justify center and item center so my form will be centered automatically okay now i have this name uh, let me add some place holder as well your name place holder your email this looks much better now i can enter my name i can enter my email and this is a submit email button okay now the next step how we'll send this email we'll use smtp js to send the email 
this is completely free you don't have to subscribe to it you don't have to purchase any premium account or like this so you can simply scroll down and it tells you the steps first you have to just copy this script and paste it in your index.html so in my case i have already added this to my index.html you can just add it and uh, it will simply add the function to your window object i close this file and the next step is uh, you can just use this email function expose uh, function exposed on windows from this smtp js file and you have to just call this send method along with this config defined here so we'll not go by this way we'll uh, make it a secure connection to create an smtp server for your email you have to click on this link you will be redirected to elastic email site just simply click click on login login with your google account or any other account you have after logging into elastic email you will go to settings create smtp credentials here this username is your email id for which you want your email to be registered on smtp so i'll just go to yopmail and will create a disposable email address i have already added buggy.coder so i'll go with this email only i'll copy this email address here and will paste it here will create the smtp credential and it's created so now when you compare this object to your this uh, created smtp credentials here we have smtp.yourisp our our isp will be elastic email username password is also provided here username password our server and this is the port which we'll be using so we'll simply copy these details and create a config object wherein username will be this username provided in the smtp credentials i'll copy my password this is my password so this server is basically this host this is capital u and capital p host is my server i'll copy this and paste it we'll also copy port here red rest it is to from subject and body so we'll just copy is it as it is from this smtp js site and paste it here now our config is completed but if i just simply use these as it is here this can be easily exposed so if i go to my uh, main js from inspect uh, by inspecting element if i just open my javascript file these details can be visible to any user so to hide it we have a way provided by smtp js we can simply encrypt our credentials so we just have to add the details here uh, smtp elastic email it is as it is my host is same i'll copy my username from here we'll paste the username we'll copy password paste it here and port is 2525 we are using ssl and it's asking for domain i'll add my domain okay which is buggycoder.n so i'll just paste it here and i'll generate the security token so my token is generated i'll simply copy this security token and as mentioned in this object you just have to simply send secure token key instead of 
instead of your username password host and all secure token this that's enough you can simply remove all these four details from here now your details are secured rest two from subject and body will be same so now uh, in our project code okay now we'll add a submit handler on submit will create a submit handler function and this function will simply check if window dot email exist since as mentioned in smtp we have to send our email using email object so we have added our script in the html file so it will expose email function to window object if it is available then we will simply call email dot send and inside this we will add this config now before adding this config we have to first update the config let's just copy this config from here to here now from is my email id no to basically which will be pagicoder dot at the job mail so i'll simply replace it here and from will be my form state dot email subject will be this is my contact form this is from my contact form and the body will be i'll add form state dot name connected to you over email so this will be the name provided in the form so now this is my custom config basically so yes we can go ahead and hit it i'll come to my code okay okay we missed one more thing uh, on submit as well we'll receive an event so we have to do even dot prevent default so the default behavior of submit is to refresh the page with the provided input in the form so now it will work fine we can simply run the contact page name okay so i am typing but not able to view anything here this is because we have added a value as empty value so we'll simply add our form state here form state name or empty because our initial value is an empty object so it will be undefined in that case and here as well we can add the same for email or empty now it should work yes it did so i'll write my name abhishek email uh, and make sure this is a correct email otherwise smtp will throw an error for it at the rate gmail.com i'll send the email okay we forgot one more thing we have a dot then function here which sends you a message which is basically the success so we can simply use this to alert user that email sent successfully 
email sent successfully go and refresh our inbox so we got an email saying abhishek connected you over email and this is from my contact form so that's it for today thank you for watching the video please do like the video share the video and also subscribe to the channel